A motorcade through the streets of South San Francisco was an unexpected welcome for PFC Matt Zander. Still overwhelmed a little bit. Before the 19-year-old Army soldier was greeted by dozens at City Hall. Today we're welcoming home uh, Matt Zander. His family met with the Patriot Guard riders to prep for his homecoming. To honor another. A quick prayer and it was off to the airport. Not much sleep last night. Where Dad Kirk Zander. It's been almost a year since we've seen him. Rushed to the terminal gate. The countdown's been on for a week. With his wife and family. It's very emotional. I just can't wait to see him. Moments later. There he is! Xander appeared among the passengers and walked through the crowd straight into his mother's arms. <laughs> Xander was applauded by strangers at the airport, greeted by high school buddies. It was awesome. Uh, I haven't seen her in almost 10 months, so it's, it's good to see everybody. He looks different. He looks different. Left, left an 18-year-old kid and came back a 19-year-old man. And there was more once he got to City Hall. I was just my family and friends, but not all this. A presentation of coins and a plaque. We knew that this was a young man that deserved to be celebrated returning home from Afghanistan. Xander was part of the police department's Explorers program in high school. It's a little different going on right along patrols in South City and then going on patrols in Afghanistan. And he plans to join the force after the army. That's where I grew up, so I want to work here. And as soon as he's age ready and as soon as he's done with his commitment to the U.S. Army, we will take the steps to put him in the police academy. But for now, this homegrown soldier plans to relax. He gets 16 days before he heads back to base in Fort Hood, Texas. Living life in South City, that's all I can say. Xander's family just wanted to give him a welcome home to remember in a city that he can't wait to serve. In South San Francisco, Christina Rendon, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special moment. It is wonderful that so many parents can be here to support their daughters. However, sometimes it's not possible for a parent to be here. But we have one parent who has literally just arrived. He has been away for 11 months defending our country in Afghanistan. He just finished his fifth deployment. Raider at Addison Palace, it's time to welcome home your father with a great big hug. Ladies and gentlemen, Did I fool 
Are you? Huh? Go give second. Daddy a hug. For the second time. Can't kiss daddy. So creepy. Uh-huh. I'm coming, I'm coming. Push you push the down button? Push the down button. I didn't even know you was coming yet. You didn't. Oh daddy. We there it that, is over there. We were thinking of a vacation to go with Nana. He was. Okay, turn around and give Daddy, get in front of um, Daddy, let me take your picture. Wait, is Trisha going to make another painting of this? Turn around right here. And make sure you get another good look on my KDs. Ain't nobody looking at your shoes. All right, tell Daddy welcome home. Welcome home. We're back on this Thursday. It's 530, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla's seen her in person. Don't cry. It's okay. You have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, too. Her mom, Lisa Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small drags, small tanks, but I mostly cross trained into working on Humvees and five tons and records. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and 
spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. <laughs> Pulling up at the house. Just got back, man. First time. First time being home since I was in Afghanistan. About to pop up on my dukes. It's going to be funny. Hold it, Pat. Just hold it. Man. I got you. I got you. Hello, Susie. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Good to see her baby, man. She's she's soaking it in. You gotta let it go. You gotta let her do her thing. <laughs> it's a good time. Happy tears. Happy tears. So they are. She's happy, man. Come on. You'll understand when you got a kid one day. You're going to understand. Yeah, he knows now. I understand, yeah. Oh, man. Did you pick him up, John? Yep. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's nothing. That's my, that's my right hand man right there. Oh, no. Of course, I'm going to pick him up. Oh, my God. Oh, honey. Hey, mommy. <laughs> Say welcome home, Daddy.
I just came back from deployment. It's been about five months, and my mom is currently working right now. Uh, she's working at the hospital as a nurse, and I'm about to go surprise her because she does not know that I'm back. And uh, it's Christmas Eve. Actually, it's Christmas now, so I'm going to be her Christmas morning. It's like a secret code red mission. Secret mission. I'm gonna surprise my mom. It's Christmas. It's gonna be awesome. Jesse. No, he's last. He's last. I know, but he's going in room four. Oh, room four? Jesse, you're going in room four. Yeah, no, I can't say it. She's like, Merry Christmas! 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 <laughs> we just came and say hi. Merry Christmas. So Jesse's missing. Jesse's missing. I told you that you needed to be good so Santa can bring Jesse. <laughs> Were you not good, Emily? Jesse missing. Where's Jesse? Huh? Where is Jesse? Middle Jesse East. Jesse's in Middle East. Mm, yeah. Very. You want me to call him and tell him to hurry up? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to give me if I call him and tell him to hurry up? Everything. Oh, well, we got you a, a pretty big Christmas present. And, uh... Did you bring it from the car? Yeah. Let's, uh... Y'all want to bring out our Christmas present? Yeah, let's bring it out. Let's go ahead and bring it out then. Okay. Go ahead and bring it out. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas! <laughs> yeah, Jesse's back. Surprise my mom. Back from Byron. Five months in the Middle East. This is beautiful right here. This is what Christmas is all about. Hello. <laughs> Oh my god. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> 